Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the message Instagram couldn't refresh feed. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is test your internet connectivity speed. So let's head on into Safari. We're going to type in Google. And in Google, I'm going to type Google speed test. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and click run speed test. All right, so my internet connection is fast, but if yours is not, we're going to have you switch to LTE. So let's head on over to our settings, click on settings, and then click the second option Wi-Fi. And I'm going to go ahead to the right hand corner and toggle off Wi-Fi. What this does is switches your phone to your data, your cellular data. And most of the time with a weak Wi-Fi signal, a cellular data signal will work much better. Now, if that doesn't work, we're going to go ahead and make sure the app is updated. So I'm going to head on into the app store and I'm going to type in Instagram at the top search bar. You always want to make sure your app is updated because updates get rid of bugs or lags or anything that's wrong with the app. So to the right of Instagram, it'll either say update or open. If it says update, that means you have to update your app. If it says open, that means your app is fully up to date. So make sure you update your app. The next thing you can do if this still isn't working for you is check that Instagram isn't down. As we know, Instagram does shut down sometimes. So you can Google it or you could head over to Twitter because when Instagram is down, people are usually talking about it on Twitter. If Instagram isn't down, if your connectivity is fine, if it's updated, if all of these things are checked off your list, the last thing you can do is offload your app. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to go back in settings. We're going to go down to general. From general, you're going to click on iPhone storage. From here, you're going to scroll down to where it says Instagram. And you can go ahead and click on Instagram. So it gives you the option to offload the app or delete the app. We're going to offload it. So go ahead and click offload and then confirm it. So what this does is it clears the cache in the app and it makes the app run a lot more smooth. So we're going to go ahead and reinstall the app. All right, and you have successfully offloaded your app. I hope one, if not all of these things helped you guys out. If they did, please like and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.